And being relatives in Native American tradition, we adhere to certain ways of living and looking at the world. We look at the holistic way of life and the mind, the body, and the spirit. We believe in a strong connection to our spiritual life and our ancestors and our culture. We believe in ceremony. I believe those are core values that all Native Americans pretty much follow. With that, we understand that as people come into our facility or any facility like Phoenix Indian Medical Center, we acknowledge that culture, we acknowledge those rights. Being an Indian tribe, um, you know, one of the things that, that we have to keep out front is to make sure that, you know, our, our thinking as we design a building, that culture comes into play. Uh, as we think about, you know, the services, you know, that we provide, whether it's home health or, or here at Solly Care, that we may have the need for an interpreter, you know, because we have a lot of our tribal members, especially the elders, that, uh, you know, Cherokee is their first language. And so as, as we look at, you know, the things that we have to do, it's a little bit, bit different from the norm, you know, in, uh, in, 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 in the United States. I think if you asked any elder in general, they are all going to say that they want to stay at home. I think it's hard to grow old anywhere and notice that you're not able to do as many things for yourself. But I think the thought of having to move to a whole new different environment is just totally overwhelming and foreign to them. And a lot of them are just not going to adapt that well. So we really want to try to keep them in their own home for as long as possible and work with the families to make sure that happens. You want them to be calm and have peace. And so that makes it really important that we keep them at home and, it, and in their community, maybe not in their own home, maybe, maybe they have to move in with a daughter or a son or a grandchild, but at least they're where they belong. When I first started this program, I had an elder tell me, our souls don't rest unless we, we're able to die at home. And that has stuck with me all these years. And I don't want to have elders thinking that their souls are not going to rest. I think the greatest need that we have met was just the fact that they could see their family, that they could see the, the desert, that they could eat their own food, that um, tribal food, that they could hear the, their own language, because that was um, what was not happening when they, when they were off, off reservation. We have a program in Solly Care Center that we call Bears and Cubs, and that is elders that, have men, that are mentoring children in the school system that come in and they spend time uh, recording stories and histories with our elders in the facility and spend time doing activities and eating and just basically being family members to each other. Working with the elders, making them understand in the Zuni language what, what we are trying to do with uh, programs such as the hospice and uh, the palliative program. and. Um, it's basically getting uh, across to them what our, in, what our intentions are in those areas. Uh, we do incorporate a lot of culture and traditional um, ways in uh, administering our programs because we are uh, all Zunis in this community. Uh, it's primarily a Zuni community. And so with that, we had to do a lot of changes that uh, are relevant to our culture and our tradition. And um, we have, um, I guess, succeeded because the elders are happy. People like to see us coming because they know that we're not gonna take away their independence, we're just gonna give them a little bit of help along the way.